Hello and welcome to the Des Moines Register's Hawk Central Huddle. I'm Chris Cuellar. With me is Hawkeye columnist Chad Leistico. We are entering week two of the college football season, otherwise known in the state of Iowa as yeah. Cyhawk Week, Chad. Uh, it's the biggest game on the schedule for now, uh, and uh, it seems like it's a game that on paper should be a walk for the Hawkeyes, but it doesn't ever seem to be. Why, why is that? Yeah, just uh, never really is. Iowa a 15-point favorite this time around. Okay. Uh, last year, of course, Iowa won by 14, but it was tied with two minutes to go. Uh, Kirk Ferentz, uh, who just signed a new contract, you may have heard, uh, is 8-9 all-time against Iowa State, so with, this would be a bad week to lose to the Cyclones. Most definitely. We'll talk about the contract a little later in our Facebook Live segment that you can find weekly at hawkcentral.com, but before we get to that, Chad, um, how real is the rivalry? What, what do you sense from the players yesterday in Iowa City, and you know, what do you make of it? Uh, usually Hawkeye players kind of downplay it, take it as one game out of 12, that type of thing. A couple little, um, I don't want to say flare-ups maybe, um, you know, LaShun Daniels is probably the biggest um, guy to speak out on this. He said, you know, we, there's a, a lot of us that really want to kick the crap out of Iowa State. Uh, and, and on his Snapchat today, uh, I think everybody has seen by now that uh, <laughs> uh, the Alan Lazard tweet that nobody in the Big Ten except Ohio State is any good is, has made the rounds, sure. uh, which was uh, tweeted while Iowa was in the Rose Bowl. I think bulletin board material probably gets around faster than it ever has before. Yeah, so exactly. It'll be fun. It's only Wednesday. We'll see what flares up between now and then. Yeah. Uh, as, as far as on the field goes, maybe the biggest adjustment Hawkeye fans are wondering about is the defense. Uh, Josie Jewell should be back after an ejection or disqualification yep. in the first game. He will game. be back, yes. yes. And uh, Desmond King has been marked to uh, defend Alan Lazard. You know, how much adjustment do you think they can make from game one to game two, and, and what do you see on the field? Well, I, I think Desmond King saying he's going to shadow Lazard is probably, uh, that's definitely a change in philosophy for Iowa, who, which usually um, assigns its cornerbacks to take sides of the field. Will he do it every play? Maybe not. I think I think you'll still see some Greg Maben, some maybe uh, Mike, Josh Jackson on Lazard from time to time, as we saw last year. Uh, but certainly that's one of the keys for Iowa, stop Lazard. And Iowa's run defense was not good against Miami of Ohio, so this will be uh, a chance to improve on that with Mike Warren in the backfield for Iowa State. Excellent insights, Chad. You can catch all of our content all week long for Cyhawk coverage. HawkCentral.com, Des Moines Register.com. Chad and I will both be in Iowa City on Saturday. Thanks so much for tuning in.